Gaffer, another week takes off pre-season. How's, uh, how's everything been going this week? Everything's been good. Um, I think we're getting really into the nitty-gritty of pre-season now. I think we've got sort of five games coming up in 16 days. Uh, boys need to start up in their game time. Um, I've been pleased with them all, though, the way they've tried to take on board the ideas that we've given them. I could definitely see some of that coming out in games. As I said, after the game, we've still got plenty we can improve on. Uh, but there's been a lot of good stuff, and I've been pleased with the boys' attitude um, and, uh, and how they've tried to take things on. So in terms of tomorrow's game, is it going to look more like a, a regular game in terms of maybe having like a straight 11 and then kind of going from there as the game goes on? I, I will lift the game time tomorrow um, and um, and look, I probably will share it out again with the, the Stockport game coming on Tuesday. So um, I've got to get just, just people now sort of playing 60 minutes, uh, probably minimum. Um, that's where you sort of try and take it. As in, someone in my position, you want to try and gradually take the load up on players. So that's what we'll try and do. Um, so uh, yeah, it'd be, a good, it'd be a good test going up to Kilmarnock. Um, they've got a very good manager in, in Derrick and um, they've had a good season last year. They're just due to play in Europe, I, I believe, next week. So they're a little bit probably ahead of us in their pre-season time because their season starts a week ahead of us too, their, their league season I'm talking about. So I'm, I'm expecting a real tough test and um, obviously we're playing on a, a different surface too. Um, and uh, yeah, so, but you know what, it's a good challenge. You want to go and you're playing against a Scottish Premier League team, um, it's a good challenge for the boys and I think they should be looking forward to it. In terms of having five games left in quite a small amount of time, uh, how difficult is it or how much you need to manage You know, getting them enough minutes to be sharp for the season, but also not too many that you know they're burnt out and risk injuries? Well, it's difficult and obviously, look, normally in pre-season you, you don't always get it completely right and you do get people that maybe get some stiffness or Hopefully not, but hope they sometimes can pull a muscle or something like that, and you, you hope that doesn't happen. So you try and build it gradually for everybody. Um, but there comes a, a point where you've got to start lifting the minutes and getting them towards full games because you can't have that starting eleven if you like that's going to maybe play against Crew. Um, sort of not having had enough game time. Now I haven't got the starting eleven in my head yet. I think there's places are still up for grabs. I've come in here; it's a clean slate for everybody. There's been some new signings coming. Um, which, is, which is good, it's been a nice lift for everybody here and, and, and for the squad itself. Um, so it's now a case of everyone's playing for their places and um, as I say, pre-season, we're in the nitty gritty now, game time will go up um, and it becomes all a little bit more serious as we get nearer to the season. Also two players were missing from last weekend's game, Paul Farman and Sam Barnes, how are they doing this week? Uh, Paul Farman will be available for uh, the game at Kilmarnock, uh, Sam Barnes won't be. Um, We've also got one other knock, which uh, again is nothing serious, uh, but I actually I don't think I need to take the risk. Um, so uh, I don't think Conor Mahoney will be involved at Kilmarnock, um, but he'll possibly be involved at Stockport. Obviously a new face has been in the building since our last pre-season game. How's Theo been getting on in the first week? Theo's been great. He's a, he's a, he's a good character. Um, he's, he's, he's got a smile on his face. Um, he, uh, I've enjoyed working with him. He gives us a bit of presence. Uh, you can see on the training ground the, the sort of the um, he's an he's a imposing figure when you see him running about. Um, he's strong and he's quick and he's powerful. Um, but he's fitted in really nicely. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm delighted to have got that one over the line. I think he's going to be a really good signing for the football club. And how pleased were you to get over the line and to get another centre back in the building? I think it was important. I think uh, it was always the plan to. to Obviously, Sam's had a, a little bit of a, a, a knock, as I say, last week. Um, so I think it was it was always in my mind anyway to do a, another centre back. Uh, obviously, we are okay in that area. Uh, we've got some good experience. Obviously, the captain plays in that position. Um, but I think it's uh, look, I know from my experience of League Two, the ball's going to come in the box a lot, and you've got to, you've got to stand up to a lot of things in League Two. Um, and so to get someone in with Ophio's experience of League Two level, and obviously he's played higher as well, then um, I think it will it will it will really help us. Of course, I'm looking forward to tomorrow's game. I mean, it seems like a really big challenge. Is that the type of challenge that you guys are going to relish? You know, having this to test the lads. I think you've got to look forward to it. I think every game you have to look forward to. It's eleven men against eleven. Um, I expect uh, Kilmarnock to be a very good team because they've got a very good manager as well, and he's always he's always done very well uh, throughout his career. So I know it's going to be a tough game and they're not going to be taking us lightly either because they'll be playing for their places because as, you, as we just said, they've got a game in Europe the week after and I'm sure their lads will want to be in the team for that one. So I'm expecting it to be a, a, a tough game for us, but it's yeah, it's one we should look forward to. Um, you want to play 
against good teams and against good players to test yourself to see where you're at and uh, and that's what uh, the boys should be be trying to do they should really be looking forward to this opportunity it's another opportunity for me to see them up close um, and uh, and it's also look you pre-season you're playing 45 minutes it's never it's always half coming off at half time and they sometimes want to go a little bit longer well here you go you're going to get a little bit longer tomorrow and you're going to play yeah they won't be playing 90 minutes or anything like that but um they're getting more of a football game and uh, all footballers want to play football games so they should be looking forward to it i certainly am yeah i suppose with the opposition of this caliber it's going to tell you a lot about the you know the players that you've got at your disposal yeah look i've got a good idea what i've got anyway i've, I've I haven't come into this job sort of uh, blindfolded. I've, I've, done, I've done my homework before I come in, and I've got some very good players um, for the level in, in the football club, um, and, uh, and 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 they've shown me that on the training ground. Uh, but as I say, it's still a clean slate for everybody, and you've got to earn your place in the team by how you perform on the training ground and how you perform in games. And obviously, how you perform in games is the most important thing. I've seen plenty of players that are good on the training ground, but don't always do it on a match day. Um, so. Um, the match day obviously becomes really important. We've got, as I say, five games still to go before the start of the season, um, and it's an opportunity for everybody. And, uh, and but at the moment, uh, it's all going fine, and uh, we've got to keep uh, um, the boys going over these next few weeks. They'll be looking forward and to the start of the season now. They'll all be chomping at a bit, and they'll all want to be in that starting lineup for crew on the first game of the season. Thank you very much. No problem.